Walking back and forth. Chase Elliott trying to get to the lead. It's going to be Brian Blade and Kevin Harvick. Alex Bowman. Martin Truex Jr. Chase Elliott. Kyle Busch. Keselowski. Joey Logano. Benny Hamlin. Jimmy Johnson. To win the Season 1 Championship. Welcome to the Pepsi 250 at Oakland for the first road course race of the season. We have 39 drivers in today's field. As always, let's take a look at your point standings really quick. So we have Chase Elliott in the lead of the points after Blaney and Bowen wrecked out at uh, Darlington. Alex Bowman and Denny Hamlin are both below the cutoff line, but uh, it's going to be a very tough battle between Hamlin and Bowman. Uh, to keep a spot in the playoffs, as you can see right here, Denny Hamlin starting second, and then Alex Bowman starting 11th, which is not good for the 88 team. A very big disadvantage for them, and a huge advantage for the 11 team as they are starting right next to their teammate, uh, Martin Tricks Jr., who is starting on pole today. Only two races remain after this race, and then the season is over. But let's get to you, Dr. Pepper wants to watch. As, as we've said before, uh, Alex Bowman is below the cutoff line and needs to win or needs to finish ahead of Hamlin enough spots to maintain a spot in, t in the playoffs this season starting 11th. And Denny Hamlin has not won a single race in this season, but still has a spot in the playoffs. He needs to keep Bowman behind, uh, behind him enough and has to finish above Logano and Truex. And Elliott has shown to be a real threat at road courses. He's in the playoffs. He's in the lead of points. He's starting third today. See if he can win today. Drivers, start your engines. So drivers roll off. Let's get to your starting lineup. Martin Truex Jr. starting on the pole with his JGR teammate. Denny Hamlin starting to his outside. In row two, we have Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch. In row 3, we have 7-time Jimmy Jam Johnson in row 3 to the inside of Joey Logano. In row 4, we have Clint Boyer to the inside of Brad Keselowski. In row 5, we have Kevin Happy Harvick to the inside of Eric Almaroli. In row 6, we have Bowman the Showman to the inside of Kurt Busch. A lot of the great drivers today we're bringing great cars to the track as we have in row 7 Ryan Blaney to the inside of Matt DiBenedetto, Bubba Wallace in row 8 to the inside of Cole Custer, William Byron to the inside of uh, John Henry Numancheck in row 9. Uh, we're going to be going for 8 laps today so that'll be interesting. Uh, Christopher Bell to the inside of Matt Kenseth and in row 11 we have Ryan Rocketman Newman to the inside of Ty Dillon. We have RCR teammates in row 12, which is Tyler Reddick to the inside of his teammate Austin Dillon. This track has eight turns, so that's going to be a very interesting race here at this first road course. Eric Jones to the inside of Chase Briscoe, who is uh, still replacing uh, Chris Busher. Uh, Ricky Spenhouse Jr. to the inside of the Waterman, Ross Chastain, Daniel Suarez, and Corey LaJoy in row 15. Uh, Chase Briscoe is still going to be replacing um, Chris Busher for the time being. Uh, Timmy Hill in row 16 to the inside of Michael McDowell. M Jim McMurray to the inside of Quinn Hoof. Uh, Tyler Reddick to the inside of Ryan Priest in row 18. And in row 19, we have Matt Tiff to the inside of Alon Day and Greg Galding. Rounding out the field in row 20. Martin Truex Jr. and Denny Hammond lead them to the line. We are underway at the first road course race. They make their way through the S's and through the first turn, through the first carousel, I should say. Truex is going to pull out to the lead with his teammate Hamlin behind him. We're going to get through the hairpin for the first time. And Martin Truex Jr. is still with the lead as uh, Chase Elliott trying to make a move for second place. Getting out of the way from Hamlin. Hamlin's going to try to battle Elliott side by side for that. Elliott's not going to give that spot up though. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. making their way, leading the pack through the carousel to the hairpin once again. You can see the, the cars uh, in the back right below the scoreboard, the leaderboard, excuse me. Uh, but Martin Truex Jr. is still leading here at Oakland. Elliott's going to make his move to the inside. He's going to make that move work, and he is going to get the lead going into the carousel. 
As Truex is not going to try to fight back there. It's not going to work out through the hairpin they go. Elliott's going to get an advantage coming off there as he had the inside line there. Elliott's going to lead that lap there as they're going to go through the S's once again. Truex trying to fight his way back. Oh, we got a car around. It's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And he collects Ross Chastain along with two others being Timmy Hill and Daniel Suarez. But let's see what happened here. Oh, it looks like uh, Stenhouse just like came down in front of the 32 car possibly. Yeah, right there. He got he came down in front of the 32 car. That's sure if the 32 car turned him or if it was just miscommunication with the spotter or something. But uh, you can see that Stenhouse barely clips the 32 car. You can see right here. Watch the 32. Right there. Barely. Uh, 32 barely making his way out. Corey LeJoy barely scraping away from there. But Ross Chastain, Daniel Suarez, and Timmy Hill were just innocent bystanders who just were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Timmy Hill had nowhere to go as he was trying to dodge it. So a quick, quick race recap. We have Chase Elliott in the lead, gained two spots. Martin Truex Jr. and Denny Hamlin both lost one. Elliott's going to lead him to the line with Truex on his outside. Truex is going to try to battle his way to the lead, trying to get his lead back as we have three more laps to go here at the Oakland Motor Speedway. Or raceway, I should say, my bad. There's a make-it-way through the hairpin as we are getting a bit of a flyby of the field here. Den Hamlin's getting all over the back bumper of his teammate as we have two more laps to go as Elliott leads him through the S's going into the carousel as they're going to make their way through the next turn going into the hairpin. Elliott's going to lead him as Truex is trying to keep his way into the draft, trying to keep his second position away from Denny Hamlin as we have one more lap to go. Truex looks to the inside. He's going to try to look to the outside. It's Timmy Hamlin. They make contact. Three cars involved. Elliot's going to scoot away with Kyle Busch right on his tail. Through the hairpin goes Nepa Camaro of Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott's going to make his way to the finish line. And it's going to be Chase Elliott winning at the Oakland with Kyle Busch right on his tail as uh, Joey Logano right there in third. What a finish that was and Chase Elliott gets to burn it down as he gets a second win of the season. Chase Elliott is your race winner. He started third and uh, his lowest position was third. And he led four laps today. But if we take a look at the point standings, we see Chase Elliott still in the lead with points. And Martin Truex Jr. and Denny Hamlin have both been eliminated from the playoffs they were both able to still finish those they were both able to get back underway or back, get their way going again but Johnson was the first one to get out then Truex got out and then Hamlin got out but uh, Alex Bowman barely made the cut uh, but he's gonna have to be in a must win situation going into Dover wish that 88 team the best as they've been having a lot of great runs lately but a very tough finish for the 19 team and the 11 team. To Hamlin dove it down into the carousel. There was just not enough room. He locked up the brakes and then that caught him and Truex in the crash. And then also collected Johnson as well. As we look at your finishing results, we see Chase Elliott has won the race with Eric Amarola, Kurt Busch, and Clint Boyer finishing in the top 10. They are not in the playoffs, but that's a pretty good finish for them. Jimmy Johnson finishing 12th with Martin Truex Jr. finishing 19th. They both fell back a couple spots. Truex dropped a lot after that as he had to take a little bit to get going again. And Denny Hamlin finishing 24th. He was in second. He was in the top five for the mid for most of the race. And then just at the final lap, he made that move that cost him all of those spots. And now he's out of the playoffs. So for any Denny Hamlin fans out there watching this race, um... It might be next year, but who knows what could happen. But you never know what can happen next season. But our next race is going to be at Dover Raceway. The Monster Mile is coming your way. And it's the final race until the championship race.